The International Maritime Organisation set out the performance standard for an ECDIS system and it's within this document that it says that the electronic navigational charts that will be used in an ECDIS system must be produced by an authorised hydrographic office or a government institution. The ENCs being produced um, by this organisation will then satisfy the requirements in SOLAS and these ENCs must be produced according to the IHO standards. IHO S57 is the transfer standard for ENC information and we use this to transfer the data between ourselves and mariners but also other hydrographic offices and S57 contains the ENC product specification and this lays out all the rules that are required to produce an electronic chart. It's very important to understand that ENCs do not contain any symbols, line styles or colours, they're just a pure data representation of the physical world. S58 contains all the validation checks that we must perform on the ENC data before we release it to the mariner at sea. It, it tests to ensure that we haven't done anything like put railways in the sea or put depth soundings on the land because the ECDIS system may not interpret that data correctly and it may cause the system to malfunction. All the ENCs that are contained within the AVCS service are put through all of these S58 validation checks before we'll allow the data to leave the hydrographic office. S63 governs the security of the information. Firstly, it enables us to protect the ENC information to make sure it can't be copied. But for the mariner, what it does is it ensures that the data that we send them is authenticated and it comes from an official source. So they can be assured that the ENC information that they load into their ECTA system won't malfunction. And the last part that, that the standard covers is the way that the information can be licensed by the mariner for a period of time. S52 is a really important standard. It's this standard that contains all the symbols, the line styles and colours. And this standard actually governs the, the display of the ENC information in the ECDIS system. So what the mariner sees on the ECDIS screen is down to this standard and the presentation library contained in that ECDIS system.